Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to add an interactive and collapsible content section to your website? In this video, I will guide you on how to create an accordion in Webflow, from structuring your accordion content to applying interactions and styling options. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once you are on webflow.com account, go to view dashboard right through here. And then all you have to do next is create a site. So to create a new site, all you have to do is click on your site through here. And now we will have to choose a template. So there is these four starting templates, which are for free. You can use them without any problem. There is the blank one, there is this one, portfolio starter, business starter, and store starter. You can even preview them or upgrade the plan to get better ones. The better like templates are these ones. So these are premium versions of templates that you can use that are pretty expensive. For example, this one is 79. Also, there is other free versions of templates that are more better than these, as these ones, which are in the bottom. So these ones are pretty looking good so you can use them on your website for free without any problem you can adjust them and by clicking on here view all you will have all these kind of different templates to choose from so depending on what kind of category of website that you are going to go for this is the template that you have to choose so for example for now I'm going to choose this one for my website so let's choose this one use for free and here we go so now You've reached your starter site limits. So for me, I have reached my limits. I have to delete some websites before I do this. So delete. Um, I have to delete my website like so. So this is an opportunity for you guys to know how to delete sites. Anyway, here we go. Now new sites and let's redo the same thing. So I'm going to choose any kind of template. For example, this one select and give it a name, create site. And now we have successfully created our Webflow website. And now let's wait until it loads. And here it is. So this is all the things that you have to know. Uh, you can edit them, adjust them as you like. And now let's start with this tutorial correctly. So guys, once we have created the website, everything is looking good. Now let's go and talk about our topic, which is the accordion content. So how we can actually do that and what is an accordion content overall? Well, basically, let me just show you real quick. Uh, this is the accordion content. So it's going to be something like um, text. And then there is like uh, a button to click and then there will be some kind of content under it. It's going to be explained as well using pens. So it's going to be something around this. So here, this is like a text will be written in here. And here will be a button. Once you click on this button, a table of content will be showing right under it, having all the text that you have. So how we can actually do that? And it is possible. Is it possible uh, in like Webflow? Well, yeah, it is possible. 100%. You will not have any problems doing that. But to actually create it from scratch, it is pretty hard. So what I highly recommend you guys to do is simply go and choose a template that has it already. So a bunch of templates has it on Webflow, but unfortunately, none of them are free to use. So let me just show you a bunch, like an example of a template that has it. Uh, so it is this one. Let's go and preview it. So this page will have frequently asked questions. So this is like skills and services. This is uh, what you are looking for. So this is the section that you are going to add to your website. And basically to have it, it is very hard without any like uh, uh, programming background. If you don't have any programming background, you will not be able to do it. So all I can say guys is you are really forced to buy a template that has it. Unless you want to make it really, really bad in a way that will be kind of looking like it, but it is not really like it. So also you can go through the free template that ha you have in this um, 
in Webflow and check if any one of them has it. Unfortunately, most of them are not having it, so it's gonna be really hard for you to find it. It is pretty much impossible for you to find the page with such uh, like stuff. And to get it, as I said, it is very hard. And we can actually try to design one, but it will not be as good as it seems like. So let's go to our website that you have already created before. Uh, at the beginning so here we go and now what I'm going to do is simply go to the page and in this page itself I'm going to create a new section so let's click on here add element and let's add a new section so here we go in this section let's go ahead and let's go and drop a list so in this list I can go again and drop list item and for example here I can write etc and let me just list item click on it once more uh, is it it? list item? no it is not the same let me just remove this real quick I uh, have made a mistake so basically to actually have it we can't really do it normal way so we can go through for example drop uh, list so you can add here drop and through this we can add here for example the text that we are looking for for example sports and here inside of it let me just click on it so here we go drop down and the text block has it like that drop down list link etc so here we can add another list below it so we can add a list inside of it so once we let's go and put it uh, above it like so and here the icon I want it to be here um, like that all right let's put it over there anyway so now once I click on sports it will show me this list of items here we go so this is an example but as you can see guys it is not looking that good it is not that professional it is not that great of a design but it will do the work that you are looking for so it can have the accordion uh, main idea but it is not really that attractive on your website especially if you have a template that has been uh, imported to your site so it's it's not gonna even match the colors and the design of the template itself and that will ruin the design overall of your page so I highly don't recommend you to do it as I did right now what I highly recommend is to get and buy a template that has it already and once you buy that template it's gonna be so much easier for you to do so much stuff uh, you will have all the access to that template uh, stuff so you can even for example let's say that you bought it from here uh, you bought this template but you don't want this design to be here you want it to import it to your other site which has the other template you can do that simply by clicking on this section that you have in this site Control c and go back to this uh, design and press ctrl v and it will be imported to this site it is as simple as that guys it is not kind it is not like uh, difficult or complicated and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like and see you guys in the next tutorial